In this lesson, we will focus on implant evaluation and placement. To begin, double-click the CS3D imaging icon to open, then single-click the first DICOM slice of the appropriate scan and click OK. This will open the patient's CBCT scan. Once open, we must move to the Curve Slicing tab to use the implant module. Once you move to Curve Slicing, you will need to be sure that a panoramic curve has been drawn. To draw a panoramic curve, or if your software has automatically created a panoramic curve and you wish to redraw it, simply click the Arch Curve tool. Use the slider bar beneath the axial view to move the slicing up or down. Once you've selected the Arch Curve tool, use a series of left clicks to move around the arch. In this example, we're drawing a mandibular curve, so try to click along the mandibular nerve canal. You may use the scroll wheel on your mouse to move inferiorly or superiorly to visualize the canal. Double click when finished. Once your curve is drawn, your panoramic and transaxial views will appear on the right. Keep in mind that the transaxial view is a cross-sectional slice along the long axis of the blue line in the panoramic image. To map the mandibular nerve, left-click and hold the larger of the two blue balls in the panoramic image and move until you visualize the mental foramen. Click the Nerve tool, click once outside the mental foramen, once inside, and then move up to the panoramic image to finish tracing the nerve with a series of left clicks along the nerve canal. Use the mouse wheel to adjust the focal trough for better visualization. Double click when finished. You may then move through your tracing using the large blue ball or by scrolling your mouse wheel with your mouse hovered over the transaxial slice to check the nerve tracing. To correct a point, single left click the orange movement node and drag it into position. To evaluate a site for a potential osteotomy, use the large blue ball to move to your region of interest, then use the smaller blue ball to angle the transaxial view from a vertical orientation to an orientation that will more closely match your implant placement. You can then perform measurements using the ruler tool. Click the ruler tool, then a single left click to start the measurement, and another to end. You may do as many measurements as you like. You may also click the Maximize button to go to full screen on the transaxial view for accuracy. Another important measurement to consider is bone density. This is indicated by the number in the lower right hand gray section of the screen. This number constantly changes as you move your mouse through the bone in the region of interest. Notice the very high levels of density in the cortical bone with lower density in the medullary bone. You may delete your measurements by clicking the Remove button next to each one. To place an implant, click the Implant Placement tool. This will open the implant library. Each implant in the library shows a description of the implant as well as the dimensions. Scroll through the implant library until you find the fixture you would like to place. Single click to highlight the implant and then click OK. The implant will be placed into your cross-sectional view. You will see the body of the implant as well as a yellow cone for restorative projection. For manipulation of the implant, there are three movement handles. The one in the middle is for bodily movement. Left click and hold to move the implant into position. There are also handles for apical rotation and occlusal rotation. You may also use the measurement tool for appropriate measurements. Once you are happy with your initial positioning, you can click minimize to come back out of full screen. To visualize buccal lingual positioning, you may maximize the axial slicing, then use the yellow movement handle to move inferiorly and superiorly through the fixture. You can also bring the 3D rendering up to full screen, scroll the mouse to zoom, 
left click and hold to rotate, and then under 3D adjustments, adjust the opacity to show your patient your proposed placement in bone and the relationship to the nerve. You are now prepared to use CS3D Imaging basic implant functionality. Please also see our next lesson which covers advanced features and implant library setup. Please take note of the system requirements for best software performance.